Hey guys, it's Megan Van Reenen, and we're going to talk about how to create an appointment. So right now we're on our home screen because we can see our calendar. If you're ever anywhere else in the system, all you need to do is click on home and it will bring you right back here. Now creating an appointment is simple. All you need to do is find the right date, maybe column, and time. I have you defaulted to resource view, which means we see these columns here, but we also have day view, week view, and even month view. And you can jump out to any day you want by coming up here to go to date, either clicking on the day you need or typing in the one you need and clicking enter. You can always get back to today by clicking on today up here at the top left and then get back to whatever view you want. So I'm going to go back to resource view. So if I wanted to make an appointment at noon in exam room one, I would just need to click on this block right here and up pops my appointment creation screen where I could say what type of appointment is this? Resource is just the column. Description. And then you want to make sure you are assigning it to a patient. So we type in either our patient or client's name. We'll have any alerts pop up. We'll see some good information. We're going to see, well, what are they due for? When was their last appointment? If they were a new client or patient, we can come over here and say click to quickly create client and patient. Fill out all the required information if it's a new client or patient. But if it's an existing client who just got a new animal, you can come up here to client search, find their name, and then fill out the information on the new animal. Primary provider, you can adjust if needed. Status, as you can see, none of these currently apply, so we won't worry about when we're about that when we're creating the appointment. Is complete? Nope, because we're just now creating it. By default, I have that wellness exams are sent are set to only be 30 minutes, but I can come out here and change it if I knew that it was going to take a longer or shorter amount of time. I can make it a repeat appointment if necessary. Let's say that we know this person's going to come in every Monday for the next three weeks. I could put that in right there and always make sure to check your summary so you know you did it right. Last but not least, you can make it an all day appointment, but keep in mind all day appointments are going to show up in this all day box at the top. If you want an entire line to go down your calendar, instead of making it an all day appointment, you would make it an appointment that maybe starts at 8 a.m. and ends at 5 p.m. When you're done, just click save. And there's your appointment on the calendar. If you hover over it, you're going to get some useful information. And if you click on it, you can edit the appointment, view it, mark it as complete, cancel it all together, Google map where they live, which is very useful if you're a mobile practice, go to that patient's medical record, or go to the client's profile.